This is a short video on cleaning a birdhouse gourd. And uh, birdhouse gourds are one of the things I get most questions on on my uh, YouTube videos. Uh, I grew a bunch of birdhouse gourds for the first time last summer. Uh, and the birdhouse gourds uh, come out in this big uh, you know, gourd, as you see me holding in my hand right here, with a little cleaning scrub on top, which I'll get to in just a moment. Um, but I've been hanging them along this fence within my backyard, and I've been letting the rainwater uh, kind of wash them down to some extent to help clean them up. And I made a video on that, and I thought, oh, that's pretty good. And certainly that uh, did uh, a nice you know, portion of the job. Um, but there were still a number of birdhouse gourds that still had this you know, kind of crusty black or whatever uh, color on it from mold or mildew or fungus or whatever it is that grows on the gourds over the winter while they are curing or maturing. And a number of sites online have talked about you know, soaking your gourds in a bucket of water uh, and that that will soften it up. Uh, and I guess I resisted that for a while, trying things my own way, which is fine. Uh, but eventually I said, you know what, <laughs> let me soak my gourds in a bucket, like some of the websites are saying. Uh, I have basically you know, here an area where uh, the rainwater from the roof uh, fills some buckets. So here was a five-gallon bucket. And uh, amazing how easy and simple this is. Uh, you know, really I had kind of blown it up in my head as, wow, I'm going to be scrubbing these gourds and it's going to be a big job and all of that kind of thing, when really it is so, so simple. I thought I may as well make a video uh, showing just how easy it is. So this birdhouse gourd is one of the ones that has more, uh, probably more dark, cruddy stuff on it than, uh, than almost any of my other ones. And the try is always to do this with, uh, with one hand because I'm holding the uh, video camera with one hand. So I'll use my foot to hold the edge of the gourd there. Um, but this gourd has been soaking and I've used in another video, I used kind of a steel scrubbing brush, but I think that's a little too harsh because it actually uh, scrapes into the, uh, it actually scrapes into the uh, wall of the gourd itself. And really, let's see if I can, just gently rubbing here, you can start to see that this comes off very, very easily. So, within a couple of minutes, you can have a gourd done just by having it soaked in advance. And just gently scrubbing. So you can do that while chatting with a friend or on speakerphone or listening to a podcast or just listening to birds singing outside or whatever it is you like. Uh, so here, again, I probably did just, you know, uh, maybe 20% of that gourd just in the minute where I, since I started here. Uh, so you can see how it goes from that dark black stuff to the under... Uh, you know, color of the gourd, the, the, the natural texture uh, showing through. I did another side over here. I did a strip uh, a little earlier. So again, you can see sort of the um, before here and the after here. So uh, that, again, just a quick video showing how easy, easy, easy it is to clean the crud off of the birdhouse gourd, uh, which then prepares it for, you know, if you were going to paint it or stain it or do something else like that to help uh, prolong its uh, longevity for how long it's going to last uh, outside. Um, I should mention a number of websites do say that when you're scraping all of this uh, stuff off, you probably do not want to be inhaling the dust uh, from this stuff, and therefore uh, you, know, you may want to uh, wear a mask, particularly if you're in any way sensitive to asthma or uh, mold or mildew or if you have you know, any of those kinds of things. Um, you know, so I would recommend uh, considering that as well. All right, and that's it on cleaning birdhouse gourds. Happy gardening.